Cotabato City basically is a delta formed by two big rivers, the Tamontaka River and the Rio Grande de Mindanao River. The city faces Iliana Bay, part of the Mara Gulf, to the west, and it is crisscrossed by mindering and braided creeks and rivers. These water bodies serve as the sources of both agricultural, aquatic, industrial, and domestic water requirements of the neighboring barangays, including the barangays of Kalanganan. Kalanganan Fish Pond Owners and Workers Multipurpose Cooperative located at Tulok Balas, Kalanganan Mother Barangay, Cotabato City, was established on August 7, 1998. The cooperative started with live banus production business. On March 2009, Kalanganan Fish Pond Owners and Workers Multipurpose Cooperative was registered under the Cooperative Development Authority. The member beneficiaries are now engaged in crab, prawn, and milkfish culture and processing. Philippine bangus or milkfish is considered as an important commodity in the Philippines. It is found mostly in brackish waters and occasionally in fresh water. Bangus thrives on algae and invertebrates. The Shared Service Facilities Project of DPI aims at increasing the productivity of MSMEs. It aims at improving its competitiveness by providing them with machinery and equipment. With the provision of SSF, it is likewise expected that they will be able to lessen the cost of production while increasing their production by at least 50%. With this new technology system, the member beneficiaries' skills and knowledge are enhanced. KFOWMPC has also acquired partnership with other different government agencies, namely BFAR, DENR, DA, and the local government of Cotabato City. Pamaagi sa promotion of green economic development, natudloan kami kung paano makatipid sang kuryente. Nagagamit kami sang lead light valve sa Amon Processing Center. Hindi na namon kailangan ang electric pad. Kaya nagkuman ang Amon Bintana, nagagawa sulod laman ang hangin sa Amon Processing Center. Bakal kami sang dako nga tangke, kinasalura namon sang ulan, kaya ang ulan namon ang ginagamit namon sa paghugas ng isda kag sa pangluto. Wala kami nagagamit sang kahoy kag ulin, kaya makagubain niya aso sa aton o solier. Ang ginagamit namon ang LPG, makatipid ini kag makabulig sa pagatipan sa atong kalibutan. In 2014, The promotion of green economic development or PROJED was introduced to DTI MSME clients. The program supports the Philippines in mastering the challenge towards sustainable and inclusive growth. PROJED targets micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, which are the backbone of the country's economy by putting a special emphasis on the industry sector. The promotion of green economic development was introduced to MSMEs and LGUs through sensitization. KFOWMPC was able to join the DTI-12 in its greening campaign entitled Promotion of Green Economic Development, which they eventually put into practice. Their processing center has large windows to let in natural light and using energy-efficient light bulbs to reduce energy consumption. Large windows also help for the ventilation of the area. Another energy cost-saving practice is the use of solar dryers.
they invested on large tanks for rainwater harvesting. Majority of the water they need is used for non-drinking purposes, from washing of clothes, watering plants, cleaning lavatories, and toilets require large amounts of water. For KFOWMPC, rainwater is mainly used for washing of the fishes and the lavatory of the processing area. This way, they save on their water bills. The cooperative is also keen on the zero wastage practice during the production. Using LPG or liquefied petroleum gas as their primary fuel, in cooking instead of using charcoal and firewood to make it earth-friendly. Harvesting algae to be fed to the fishes and shrimps instead of seeds. The cooperative has also been growing mangrove plants and supplying them to organizations and agencies who conduct mangrove planting activities on the coastline. Mangroves play an important role to the ecosystem. According to World Wildlife Foundation, just like the coral reefs, mangrove forests are extremely productive ecosystems that provide numerous goods and services both to the marine environment and people. They support rich biodiversity, stabilize coastlines, and support as the line of defense during storms. Let's go green!